<laughs> okay, so sorry it keeps taking a while for me to post anything. I apologize. It's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, there you go. <laughs> um, I think today I want to talk about my experience with Lexington Steel. I do. <laughs> I, I, it's one of my favorite um, experiences in that industry. And usually when someone brings up one of their favorite scenes, that happens to be one of them. So I will tell you what that was like. Because <laughs> I think, uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you what I think. <laughs> Anyways, um, my first day experience um, working with him uh, goes like this. My manager at the time, he would take me to different companies and um, usually for the different companies, we would go in there and um, they would ask us some questions and there was a point where I knew it was time to disrobe and, um, you know, just because they have to take pictures, front, back, side pictures and stuff like that. So my manager at the time took me to uh, this company, I don't know if I've actually, if I had already disrobed or, I don't, I don't think I had yet, and um, I was sitting talking to a gentleman. I didn't know anybody, I was kind of new uh, to everything and um, kind of not taking it in, taking it all in as I should, I, um, I kind of regret that. I didn't know who I was hopefully going to work with although his name was mentioned, and um, but I didn't know that person. So I'm talking to some guy who is, I shouldn't say some guy, because I know he was very important, and um, a, across from the table, and I'm answering his questions, and I am giving the appearance of confidence, although inside, I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> I'm just like, oh my gosh! And, um, and so while this gentleman is speaking to me, asking me questions, another gentleman walks in. And um, I don't know who this guy is, but I know he came in and he handed the gentleman that was asking me questions, um, he handed him something or he did something. And then he said, yes, her, I want to work with her. I want to work, you know, I want to work with her. And the gentleman that was asking me questions looked up at him and said, is this what we do now? So this is what we do. We like you, you feel like you can just walk in and say who you're going to work with and when you're going to work with them. And uh, this gentleman replied back to the other gentleman. He said, yes, with uh, like he knew, yes. And I also want to work with her um, on some other thing. So I, you know, I might, I'm like, watching tennis because they're going back and forth and I'm just going, you know, <laughs> looking. And so um, I am aware that the gentleman that walked in is a big gentleman and um, only because of the way that the conversation is going. But I'm also aware that the gentleman who is interviewing me probably is the real one at the end of the day that um, is one of the ones that calls the shots. So I didn't really know that I actually had any kind of anything um, set until my manager told me, okay, so you booked that one. Oh, yeah, you booked that one and another one. Because after he said, yes, that's the way it works, and also I want to work with her. I don't know if I said that, he also wanted to work with me on something else. So he said, not only did you book that shoot, you booked another one with him. So that was great. <laughs> <clears throat> so then I learned his name was Lexington Steel. <laughs> and, uh, which was great. So then the other models were talking to me about Lexington though, because um, I didn't know much about them. To this day, I'm not much of a porn watcher. I like porn. I like that it's out there. I have seen porn, um, but um, it's not like, you know, a, something that I'm like, you know, I have to watch it, you know? So I, um, I'm not even in a situation where I could like just sit there and watch porn and I haven't been in a situation that I could just like sit there and watch porn for years. So. 
a lot of times someone will name drop somebody to me I don't know who you're talking about and even when I was in the industry I didn't I didn't take it as a career which I regret but um, I uh, didn't even know a lot of people I was working with now because of the whole situation it's hard to forget this person's name it's hard to forget um, so yeah I'm talking about Lexington still <laughs> like, so yes um, so the girls were telling me about him and um, instead of having all this excitement I went from excitement to just like kind of freaking out because they were telling me how huge he is and that he's very like aggressive and um, that um, he tries to put himself all inside of a girl even knowing how big he is so I was like okay so you know I like sex I love it I love it I love it I love it but uh, that is a big 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 something that was being described <laughs> a big one and it does it's not really the size it is the size on camera that was freaking me out because the difference between actual sex and porn sex is that actual sex um, if you feel like something is hurting you there are different things you can do to feel supported just some kind of supported so even if you feel like you know that you're effing <laughs> there are things you can do um, that will make it feel a little bit like love making so if you're just like you know you know it's hard for you to receive something it makes it easier for you to open up and receive whomever you um, are making love to or effing <laughs> so but on camera if I do anything to try and ease that up um, it's you won't have any visual some of the things you might do is pull the gentleman that you are having sex with close to you and there's a sense of support even if there isn't any support there's just a sense of support and it allows you to loosen up a little, that little bit more and any anything you do on top of that to add towards your emotional support will allow you to open up just that more much more so on camera a lot of things that give you visual are kind of things that are painful especially if the model that the gentleman that you're working with or the toy or whatever that you're working with is huge so Lex I'm told is huge <laughs> And privately, I might be able to handle that over a period of time, but on camera, I needed to talk to Lex. <laughs> I was like, okay, so I need to talk to him. I need to talk to him before we actually work together. Uh, fortunately, on the day that we actually work together, Lex was, uh, actually not even the day that we worked together, I think Lex and I were on this other shoot and um, Lex came up to me and he showed me his PCR DNA AIDS test and I showed him mine that this actually wasn't the shoot that we were going to be working on but since we were both there and the shoot was probably the next day or the day after like it was really really quick he showed me his test and um, um, I showed him mine and we talked I don't know if we talked that day or the day of the shoot but we we did talk and um, I believe it was that day we talked and I also talked to the model I was actually performing with <laughs> so that day so um, Lex I I told him that I heard some things about him and I said to him that I'm very deprived sexually I'm very like I'm very highly sexual but I deprive myself a lot like I am um, I don't just sleep around I used to like pick a person to make love with that was my person that I would make love with at the time and then um, and that's it like I go to work I you know if I was in school I go to school I come home I'm still like that I don't just sleep around the main difference now between me and when I was younger is that I never select a guy anymore I don't do that because my experience is um, either way no matter how good the sex is I do have an empty feeling that I just prefer not to have <laughs> I just prefer not to have it so I just don't have sex until I'm actually having sex so I just I just don't have sex until I'm actually so I told him I'm very sexually deprived and um, it doesn't matter how small the man is 
you're going to have a reaction. He's going to have a, a very favorable reaction because I, I don't actually get it. So I'm just excited about having sex. I'm just excited about it. So you don't have to try and put it all in me to get a reaction from me. You're going to get a reaction. And he seemed a little disappointed because it seemed like he was expecting that he could just <laughs> rip through me. <laughs> but he was a gentleman about it, I must say. So that's great. So the day of the actual shoot, it was, it was a very nerve-wracking day. But we handled it like champs. He, um, when he was, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go very, very in-depth or anything because there you go but he was um, he I could tell that he, when he was inside of me he was wanting to put it in more but per my request he didn't and um, and I appreciate that about him but it still was quite painful it still was you know quite painful and um, I did as much as I could to feel a little bit like we were making love I tried to kiss him and he kissed me back a very good kisser <laughs> and um, I um, couldn't do much more, you know. And I, I, could, I, I just, I don't know. But it was, he was, he was being good. It's just that it was, it was still painful. And I was thinking, you know, if this was private, this would be way better. This would be, you know, like I'd be. I felt bad that I couldn't take him all the way in. So I was like, if we were alone and this wasn't being videoed, I could. This would be a lot better but also being freaked out like I was freaked out the whole time that probably I don't know if it came across on video but I was freaked out the whole time and I was saying to myself you know um, I if he had wanted me to be his girlfriend afterwards me I'm usually saying no thank you to a lot of things uh, no thank you to coffee no thank you to tea this person that I was having sex with and at the same time being freaked out by um, he could have had anything he wanted at that time if he had just asked um, but it's kind of good that he did well he did ask and we did do something but it wasn't like you know a big anything <laughs> <laughs> and normally that little thing that he asked that little thing that he asked I would have said no to but I I was like yeah I'm gonna say yes whatever he asks me so I thought we got to a point where the shoot was over this is the shoot with Lex because there's two shoots um, this is the shoot with me and Lex when I was wearing black. This is this because the other one I'm wearing like a furry white dress or I think it's a furry white dress. I don't know what it is, but it's not the black outfit that I was wearing and in this video. And we came to a point where I thought it was over. And because of the pain of it, I was like, cool, I made it. I made it through that. Like, it's over. <laughs> but then he said to the guy that was filming us, don't stop the recording, or he said, don't put that, can't keep it on, or something, He's, I can't remember, and, um, I haven't seen it, but he, he told him not to stop it, and I'm like a deer in headlights, he was like, I'm not done yet, <sighs> oh my gosh, because <laughs> I, I felt like I was a trooper, <sighs> as much as I could be, through the thing, and I just, you know, I thought that I made it through, but we weren't, we weren't done apparently. So, um, I don't know if I said it out loud, the S word, I don't know if I, but I certainly was feeling that. And I said to myself, okay, okay, so, you know, you know, they can use this, they can use this video for whatever they want, and I'm okay with it, and they can have the money. I. And perfectly fine for them to just just take that check and they can keep it so I'm thinking I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave <laughs> and I feel like my body was you know in a position that I was just gonna leave but he pulled me back it was almost like where are you going <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> Oh my gosh uh, so I was like girl you ain't no punk <laughs> like you can you can do this you could do this so we went another round I made it through that one and there you go so 
I don't know how it came across on camera because I know through that whole time where I was working, I tried to put on an air of confidence, and um, but I, I really was freaked out inside. So <laughs> uh, that 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 was that. Um, he did the little something he asked me to do later was to go to the movies with him, and um, I did. And we it, he was such a gentleman. I'm so happy, and. Um, we did do like other things, but um, I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong about um, <clears throat> if we did other things, uh, it would be easier. It, it was a little easier, but it was not that easy because um, his style off of camera at the time, I don't know how it is now, but at, uh, off of camera at the time was much like on camera. It was still like we were working. And um, so we didn't match. It was it was still it was intense and it was um, very good. But it, it was like we, we didn't match. And he's a lot stronger than me, um, you know. Because some guys um, I can overpower, and uh, I could not overpower him. He's very very strong. So he it the it was going to go the way that he he kind of set the tone. And the tone was much like we were working. So. Yeah, that we were. I thought we'd be a match sexually. We're not. He's very overpowering. I was wrong. <laughs> and so there you go. So um, that was my experience with Lex. It was like it's one of my favorite experiences. One of my favorite experiences, but it was also the one that freaked me out probably the most. Like freaked me out. It was kind of comical in the moment. It's scary and comical in the moment. So is that so um then i i apologize for um we have a lot of stuff happening back here it makes it difficult for me to post and it makes it difficult for me to get to messages it it, it always has but now um um things have, have come to a head so um the next video i'm going to do is an asmr video i um got the idea because the, the, the two videos that I posted, I, I posted four, but I mean the two main videos that I posted, I noticed that my voice was low. And um, um, the second video, I tried to get my voice to be higher and it ended up even lower than the first. Because <laughs> I'm not really in the position where I can, you know, um, like right now, the most light that I get happens to be by the door. In this place that I live in, if you walk by the door and someone is speaking, you can hear every word they're saying. And today, I'm listening by the door and I don't hear anything. So I feel a little bit better about talking, but some of the things that I talk about, I, of course, I don't want anybody hearing if they happen to walk across. Um, I don't know how it's going to come across the day because I feel like I'm a bit louder. <sighs> Another thing um, probably is a bit of... Um, um, shyness happening as well and I'm only working with my phone and no it's not a good phone and no microphone so it is you know it is the best that I can do with what I have at the moment uh, I um, uh, I looked at the videos and it reminded me of ASMR <laughs> I'm sweating it reminded me of ASMR um, type of video because my voice was so low and so I was wondering if I should do an ASMR video I've never done an ASMR video um, but um, I did get a request thank you uh, to the person who requested it because now I feel supported I feel like I can actually do an ASMR video but I've never done one so if you are used to ASMR I'm sure I won't get it right the first time uh, it's a high likelihood I won't get it right the first time, but if you don't know about ASMR, you might think that I am on drugs or something. <laughs> but I don't partake in any type of smoking whatsoever. I don't partake in drugs. I don't partake in drink. Everything that I do um, will be purposeful. And I'm gonna say as ASMR very slowly so you can either, so you can look it up and know exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing it, okay? So A S M R. You can Google it or you can YouTube it. 
<laughs> so that you know. I feel like it's it's kind of if you don't know what's happening, um, you you are kind of like, what the f is she doing? Um, if you don't know what's happening, so I just want to let you know. I am going to try and put that up um, before this week is over, or uh, at the end of the week, or by next week. It depends on our circumstances because. Um, what we've been going through is trying to, I'm so sweating like crazy, look at that, I'm sweating like crazy. Anyways, um, what we're, we've been trying to do is we've been living in a not so good area or a place even and um, we've been trying to get out of there and we are working with uh, a lender, a private lend, wait, a private buyer who works in a group with a realtor and a private lender and they've been trying to um, find us a place. It hasn't been, um, it's been very slow moving so now we've been asked to leave the place that we're in. We've been asked to either leave or pay for another unit and up the rent on this unit. So if we, we put the money uh, together how much that's going to cost we are not going to be able to do that and even if we could do it it wouldn't make sense for where we're living um, although I would because it's better than being on the street <laughs> so it's, it's kind of a, a scary situation and nerve-wracking but we're, we're so I don't know if I'll I don't know when I'll post that video but I will um, keep it posted um, I have been talking for a long time about putting up a GoFundMe and uh, people have even said you need to put up a GoFundMe but it's like I say that I'm gonna put up a GoFundMe but um, it, it's very it's very hard to ask for help from people and when I have asked for help like um, nothing has come of it you know that closed mouth doesn't get fed thing like even when I open it <laughs> So it, it's hard. It's it's hard to ask for help. We just kind of like nudge along, trying to make it by ourselves, and kind of you know. But uh, we ended up um, homeless at one point, and then because I have bad credit, and my daughter has no credit. We ended up here, um, and um, now we make too much money to be here. Although we are still low income, and we've done things to improve my credit, but my credit, even with a little bit. Even, you know, with the, the, what we've done to improve it, still is crap. It's crap. And we have to leave. <laughs> so we're pretty much in the same situation. We're in the same situation that we were when we became homeless. And now, uh, so it's a pretty, it's a pretty, you know, yeah. <laughs> so um, I actually have an appointment. Um, I might be putting up the GoFundMe tonight or tomorrow morning and I will keep you posted and um, and if you can help and you'd like to help that would be appreciated if you'd like to help but you can't help at least your mind is there at least your heart is there <laughs> so I will uh, let you know about the GoFundMe when I, I post it that actually everything that's been happening has made it difficult to post period and it's also made it difficult for me to get to my messages because it's like we, ha we have a lot that we're trying to we're, we're kind of in limbo and we have a lot that we're trying to do to 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 push it and to make sure that we are okay but now it's like we you know everything is, is so quick we have to we have to like now and we don't we're not working with much to be able to do anything right now so you know so um I will let you know when I, I put that up or the information yeah and then and then also the ASMR video okay thank you for watching <laughs> I, I hope that you enjoyed and and until the next video